Hey, this is the Pythonic Accountant, and today we're going to take a look at one of my favorite new topics, which is agents, and specifically the OpenAI's Agents Software Development Kit, or SDK. So let's take a look at the Agents SDK uh, page here. This is just the getting started piece of it. There's a whole set of documentation we're not going to get into today, but this lets you build agentic AI apps in a very easy to follow way and the um, kind of primitives that are available in the software development kit are agents which we're going to look at a couple examples today um, handoffs so you can actually delegate to different agents and then guardrails which that helps you with you know input and output validation things like that um, there's also tracing that comes with it we're not going to look at that today we'll get that into into that in the next one um, and this just kind of explains, it's really helpful because there's a loop. So it's kind of this background loop that everything's sort of running while the agents are doing their things. It's Python focus, which is awesome. The handoffs and guardrails are great. Um, you can use function tools. Again, we're not gonna do those today, but the function tools allow you to give each of your agents one or more tools to use, which is awesome. Um, the tracing is really cool. It lets you do some visualizations and debugging the workflow. Um, but for today, we're just going to do a very basic accounting Hello World example. Um, this is the super basic Hello World example that they provide uh, on this page here. You basically pip install this OpenAI agents library, and then from agents, you're going to import agent and runner, and then you're going to give your agent, um, you know, within the variable agent, you're going to give it that kind of class instantiation. You're going to give it a name and instructions, and then you run the agent similar to how you would run you know a prompt um, through this runner and put it into the result and then you print the result so it's similar to the you know standard code that we'd write for the chat endpoint but it, it is a little bit different um, in a lot of good ways so let's go ahead and pop over and take a look at the code that we have here so um, first I'm just installing the library that we need. We don't even need OpenAI, it's just OpenAI agents. And so we install that one. And then what we're doing is pulling in the uh, my API key and importing a few different libraries, the agents, and then the IP, uh, IPython display just to make the output look nicer because otherwise it's just a bunch of text. Um, here we are grabbing the OpenAI API key from the environment. So that's nice. Um, now this is where we're actually defining two agents here. So this is the accounting flavor. So the first one we're calling it an accounting definer agent. Now this doesn't have any special knowledge. This is just your basic GPT-40 mini, but we could give it um, you know, a fine tune model and we could do a RAG model. Again, more complex than I wanted to show today. Just wanna to show you the basics of a multi-agent system here. And so basically this one is a helpful accounting assistant. You're gonna give it an accounting term and it's gonna provide a clear and concise definition. Um, then we have a second agent. This is called our simple explainer agent or the explain like I'm five. <laughs> and this one's gonna get, get the output from the first agent and feed it into this one. And it's going to have a prompt of explain the following concept in very simple terms like you would to a five-year-old, focus on the core idea in simple language, don't add any preamble, et cetera. Um, so once we define that agent, we're good to go. Um, now we're going to define the input accounting term. So this I just have as a simple input, so we can type whatever we want here. So let's call this, um, you know, uh, we'll say uh, accounts payable accrual. And I'm going to hit enter, and that's just basically saving the... Um, the variable uh, here. I'm going to delete that and make it make more sense because we're not actually running the agent workflow there. So just for completeness, I'm going to say accounts payable accrual, and there we go. Uh, now this is really the meat of it. So we're doing a try and accept in case it runs into any issues. But basically, um, this is you know going to say, okay, I'm running this agent, and it's going to grab the result of this runner and I'm gonna grab the text of the output. Um, and then we're gonna run the second agent where you're gonna take that definition text that it grabbed there and put it into the uh, explainer agent and again, get those results. And then finally, we're just gonna grab the results um, and put them into an HTML format just to make it look nicer. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and run this and let's we'll see what it gives us. So it's running the agent running the explainer agents, and boom, now we've got our outputs. 
So let's see what the first agent gave us. That accounts payable accrual refers to recognizing expenses that have been incurred but not yet paid, indicating the company owes money for goods or services received during the accounting period. That makes sense to me. Let's look at the explain like I'm five. Accounts payable accrual is like saying you borrowed a toy from a friend but haven't given it back yet. You know you have to return it. So even though you haven't handed it over, you remember that you owe your friend that toy. Okay, in a business, it means they got something like a delivery or service but haven't paid for it yet. They keep track of what they owe, just like you do with your borrowed toy. Hey, I'll take it. That's good enough. Um, well, this is really all I wanted to show you today. This is a simple two-agent system. Um, all of this is just to get the output. The building of the agents themselves, super simple. I really love this. It's just that class agent. And we gave it a name, we gave it an instructions, and we specified the model. You don't have to specify the model. I don't actually know what model they choose. If you don't, probably just GPT-40. Um, but pretty straightforward. Uh, but yeah, stick with us. We're going to do a bunch more of these. We're going to show some really compelling, interesting use cases of the HNTIC AI using the agent software development kit. So we'll see you at the next one.